uh, praise God. Good morning. Good morning. God is good. All the time. Welcome this morning to church. In Jesus' name, it's Pastor Ivan here with Pathway Ministries. If you've joined us live this morning, we want to welcome you in the name of Jesus. And we want to thank God. We want to bless the Travel Lodge today. We thank them for just granting us this spot right here. So God bless them. That's awesome. It is going to be a great morning. This morning I was looking and I'm like, God, you're the Almighty. Lord, it's kind of cold. Would you warm it up a little bit? Clear off the clouds. And thank you, Jesus. He did it. Because wow. I just want to see the kids have an amazing time today. Be blessed in Jesus' name. So, yeah. So you guys are more than welcome. If you want to come closer, you can. If it's loud enough, fine. But uh, don't be afraid. You can definitely... Come on up. So, Father in heaven, we just come before you today. In the name of Jesus. God, we ask that you be glorified this morning. We ask, Father, that your name be lifted high. And we thank you, Jesus, for your love today. I pray every person online and live today, God, would be touched by the power of God. Holy Spirit, touch right now in Jesus' name. And we thank you, God. Today is going to be a special, special day. Lord, and we thank you for faith like a child today to come back into our life, Lord, in a mighty, powerful way, Lord. We thank you for contending, for taking things in this world, God, and, uh, Lord, showing your glory in every situation in Jesus' name. Now, let's just lift our hands. Let's just begin to worship God. Father, we worship you. We bless you. We honor you, Jesus. You're amazing. We just love you, Lord. God, we pray that you would be lifted and inhabit our praises today. We praise you, Lord, for the things we've asked you for, God, because they're on the way. They're taking place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Worship team. Praise the Lord. God is good. This is going to be a super fun morning, and I'm so excited because yesterday I was thinking, man, Lord, help it not to be too windy and no rain, and it's just awesome. God is good. And even if we would have had rain, God is still good. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's going to be a fun morning. We're going to sing just a bunch of courses. And some of the courses you will remember from when you were little probably. Um, it's going to be a blast. And everyone will be able to sing along because I'm sure most of you will uh, catch on to the words very quickly. Except maybe the this little light of mine, the verses are... Uh, a little bit challenging, but praise God. We're going to start with Praise Him. And there's many Praise Him songs, but once we get started, you'll know which one I mean. Hallelujah. We're here to praise the Lord, aren't we? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him at the noontime. Praise
this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Hallelujah. How does it sound out there? Is everything kind of oh, yeah. good. good? Okay. Awesome. Sometimes when we're here on this end of it, we can't hear that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. This little light of mine. said hallelujah hey man why don't you give yourselves a hand you sound great this morning come on this is great now give jesus a hand this morning amen hallelujah thank you jesus amen let's lift our hands to heaven thank you lord for this service this morning we just thank you for each and every person here lord you touch them by the power of your holy spirit today shake whatever needs to be shaken and broken in jesus mighty name lord we pray for this great nation of canada that it shall be saved Lord, we thank you that you're raising men and women that are called to change, the, to shake Canada by your power, by the glory of God. Lord, it says in, the, in our na national anthem, Lord, Canada, uh, God, keep our land glorious and free. So we thank you. You're keeping our land glorious and free in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you that every plan of the enemy is broken. It is put to stop in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for raising up men and women that are into leadership, that are going to shake Canada for your glory. And we give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I'm Brother Joe, and I'm blessed to be with you here this morning. Just got a, a few announcements I want to go through. Uh, Tuesdays, you can join us uh, live at 7 o'clock. We are looking. Uh, it's called Testimony Tuesdays. So if you have a testimony, uh, come online on, at 7 o'clock Tuesdays on Facebook and uh, let Pastor know, and he can uh, get you on there. Uh, Wednesdays as well, we have live stream. And then don't forget, Tuesday at 8 o'clock, uh, we have prayer after uh, on zoom so just uh, keep plugged into that uh this thursday we are meeting at the uh, university grounds at 7 30. Uh, pastor will have more details to come so just uh check your messages and you'll be notified amen how many have been out to prayer around the city it's been good amen yeah. hallelujah <laughs> praise god 
What else do I have going on here? Uh, if you want to give today, we uh, want you to give so you can uh, go to pathwayrevival at gmail.com gmail to e-transfer your uh, offering or go to www.pathwayministriesrevival.com where you can find and uh, a link that you can give. You can also tune in and give to Radio Beyond the Rock if you know, uh, if you've been listening to that. That's a uh, radio, Christian radio ministry that's been a blessing. So just check that out. Uh, you can, we also take cash or checks. So, and so I do have some envelopes here today. This amen. Morning, so Praise God. At uh, this time, I would like to do some prayer requests. I want to call up Samantha and Joel McRae as they're going to take up some prayer requests to the Lord. Does anyone have a prayer request to hear this morning? We can pray for Yes. Uh, my friend Joanne. Joanne, okay. Uh, been having liver problems. Joanne, okay. Liver problems. All right. Anyone else? Yes. Your mom? Yeah. Okay. So Kim's mom. So this is a praise item and prayer request all together. Um, some of you don't have my sister Amanda on Facebook. Um, last weekend, she was having some complications with her pregnancy. So we took her into the hospital. She ended up going into labor. Uh, she did have her little baby boy at 26 weeks. He's 1.8 pounds. Um, Amanda is doing absolutely fantastic, which is a huge, huge, huge praise item. Yeah. Um, she's back at home. She's recovering. Um, little baby Weston, he's going to be in the, in the NICU for a while. Um, but that's, that's the prayer item, um, is that the Lord's just going to strengthen that body and it's going to go way quicker than any of us expect. So praise God for that. Today we just pray for uh, Joanne and that she will be healed, whatever is going on, and that she, you, God, you will just touch her and touch her body and anything, any pain. And God, you will just heal her in the name of Jesus. Yes, and God, thank you. And thank you for the kids today that we, for our singing and that God, you are just so wonderful. Amen. And we also just pray for Kim's mom um, that, um, that she gets better and um we just also pray um for um every sickness and disease to go right now in the name of jesus get into the pit of hell in jesus name um amen oh um and also let's just keep in prayer for our friend harry um uh, he just turned 90 years old in June 24th, and uh, June 26th, he went in the hospital, but now he's back at my grandma's, and when we saw him, he was um, coughing, and um, and uh, he's got a really bad cold, so let's just pray for him, too. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you for Yeah, so... All right, praise God. Give Jesus a hand. That was awesome to hear these kids pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so uh, we're just uh, going to call up uh, Brother Len here. Uh, if you want to get baptized, uh, just uh, contact uh, Pastor or Brother Len, right? Yep. We will uh, get you some information, and he's going to share with you about some baptism. All right. Well, you know, often people challenge us to say, you know, well, what about the guy on the cross? He didn't get baptized, and yet he went to Jesus promised to a place in heaven for him. But tell you what, he died that day, okay? So if you lived one day past the day of your salvation, it's time to get baptized. Amen. <laughs> okay? And also, um, if you're wondering about whether you should become a member of this church or this body, in Ephesians somewhere it says Jesus Christ is the head of the body. So head of the church. So you don't want to deny anything that Jesus Christ is doing, do you? I didn't think so. So, church membership is something that I believe is beneficial for the body of Christ. 
So I'm going to read now from Mark. And they were bringing the children to him so that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Permit the children to come to me, and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such of these. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it at all. And he who, and he took them in his arms and began to bless them and lay his hands on them. This is the word of the Lord. Awesome. We are going to, uh, I'm going to ask Joyce to come up really quickly because she's going to be leading our baptism class. And uh, I know this is kind of on the spur, Joyce, but uh, seeing as the service has taken this road, we'll quickly do this. And so some of you have signed up for baptism already. Classes will begin soon. So why don't you just tell people when they're going to start and if they're interested. I thought we did. 29th? Yes. Okay, so uh, the, the baptism class is going to start at Merlin's house uh, on July 29th at 6.30. And do you have an ad address, Merlin, that we can get? 33 Bow Crescent. 33 Bow Crescent. Okay, so 6.30 on July 29th. Yes. Okay, yeah, and... Okay, so from the course, we probably will have more than one lesson, probably two, uh, and so we'll um, we'll go through that and um, break in between or a different thing. So, but we'll start at 6:30, 33 Bow Crescent at Merwin's house. Okay. Awesome. And uh, it's just going to give us some teaching regarding regarding baptism, what it means. Uh, it's not only an ordinance of the church, yeah. but it's important for our Christian life. Uh, that we bury the old man because when you become a new creature in Christ it says old things pass away or die in other words and all things become new so when someone dies you have to bury them or they get stinky after a while right and so when our when you get saved you become a new creation but the old man dies and you need to to bury him and and so baptism is a sig is signifying in the spirit that that uh, that you let go of the old man and get free Amen. Amen. Thank you, Joyce. That's going to be a great time. Give her a hand. Thank you so much for taking that class, Joyce. We appreciate it. You know, she did years and years of uh, New Believers course training years ago, um, and uh, she's just got a really, really powerful course. If you even have been saved a long time and you say, you know, I don't know if, if I know why I believe what I believe. You go to her classes when they start up. It's going to be awesome. You're going to get such a confidence in the Word of God going to be so good praise god for that so today we're doing the service a little bit different than normal we usually go back into worship but if i could just share with you guys a few minutes um on faith like a child not childish faith but faith like a child um you know in in proverbs i believe it says that um when when a child is a king in a nation there's trouble and so you don't want uh, childish people in leadership but we do want the faith of children in adults amen praise god so i'm just going to share for a few minutes and then we're going to let the kids lead us in worship how does that sound it's going to be great amen so faith like a child the first thing i was thinking of was you know when i was a child and i grew up in sunday school and i thought man like those songs that we sang you know, people would just say, well, they're kids songs and stuff. And I'm like looking back and I'm thinking, no, they're faith songs. So many of them are filled with faith, filled with confidence. Listen, how do you say with Jesus in the boat, I can smile at the storm? Come on, that's faith. That's powerful. I like that. They're going to sing that yet today. That's powerful stuff. And so looking back, I, was, I just found a number of songs written for children but they're really childlike in faith and I like that so what is childlike faith 
Well, I think, you know, children have what's called enthusiasm. God put that in each child. And some of you think that's just the, the thing to wear you out as parents. But God, God actually put that into children so that you can have, see the faith of God in them. So you can see the destiny that God has for them. Because, you know, with children, when you tell them something as parents, they believe it. They trust you. Isn't that true? Children trust so easy and so when children have this gift from God it's like this enthusiasm they find it natural to believe what people tell them as they hear words their faith grows in what was said and who says it I just want to read a scripture that's very important and it's in Proverbs chapter 22 if you want to go with me Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 it says this, train up a child in the way they should go, and when they are old, they will not depart from it. You know, it says train up a child. You know, sometimes we can go into homes and we find that the children are training the parents. Have you ever found that? You ever feel like your children are like, well, let's put it this way. You, you see a lot of people walking their dogs and you wonder who's in charge. You ever notice that? right and it's like sometimes i wonder if you know sometimes for years people will say wow my kids are just you know they're just that way they're just going through that phase but the bible says this parents it says train them up in the ways of the lord you're supposed to train them amen and so they're not supposed to just have free reign and do whatever they want now we need to honor them as well and not uh, bring them to a place of frustration but we need to train them up and it says here's a promise when they're old they will not depart from it and you know what I think that goes for good and bad people kids that grew up in bad homes often you know often they find it very hard to believe the Word of God they find it hard to, to trust uh, people of faith because they were taught something by the people they trusted but you know what, I, I want to say this, if you've had children that have walked away from God, they've got twice the chance of coming back to Jesus because you taught them and trained them in the first place. That's good news today, that's great news. Uh, I just want to look at what, um, what Jesus said about children, and this is why we should take great joy, guys, in training our children in God's ways. And we should take great joy in being sons and daughters of our of our God, amen, our Father in heaven. Look at this, Matthew 18, verse 1. At this time, there came disciples to Jesus, and they said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Who is the greatest? And Jesus called, who? Did he call the king? Did he call the parents? Jesus called to himself, a child a little child to him and he set him in the midst of them and he said I'm truly telling you except you be converted or turned and become or be made as little children you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven or meet the sovereign king I looked up some of the Greek words and so where it says here you have to be converted as little children. You know, it refers to a child that's about half grown, but it especially refers to a child that was chosen by a king to be their servant, to minister to the king. So what he's saying is we need a humble attitude that's willing to be a servant for Jesus. When we turn and become come to him with that attitude, guess what? We're going to be introduced to the king of kings. How awesome is that? That is awesome. Whosoever, verse uh, 4, Matthew 18, verse 4, Whoever therefore will humble themselves as this child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. You know, God's kingdom is interesting because when you go down, you go up. You know, when you choose to go down, God lifts you up. It's just awesome. It's so precious. And so we need to be teachable. And to be willing to serve and you will find yourself in the presence of the king when you do this 
Amen? Hallelujah. Uh, verse 5 says, And whosoever shall receive a, such a child in my name receives me. That's powerful. When we come to Jesus as servants, he receives us as sons and daughters. And whoever accepts him as a servant of God, you come to Jesus as a servant. You know, he accepts your life and, and uh, your approach to him. He wants you. He welcomes you. And this, oh man, where was I here? Sorry, guys. Oh yeah, so Jesus is calling people to come and work in his kingdom. Jesus is calling you to come and work in his kingdom. You know, he says, pray the Lord of the harvest to send forth workers. That tells me one thing. God knows that people tend to want to slack off and not work. But God is saying, come and work in my kingdom. Praise God. As a son and a daughter. You know, when we approach Jesus with the attitude of a servant, like the prodigal son came home to the father and he said, I'm not, I'm not worthy to be called your son. I'll just be a servant. And he says, no, no, you're my son. Today, someone needs to hear that, to be encouraged. Someone needs hope and says, you know, I've wandered, God, and when I come back, I don't feel like I'm worthy to even do anything important. And God says, listen, you are important. I paid the price I sent my son. You're so valued, and I want to use you way more than you think is possible to be used. Praise God for that. Thank you, Jesus. So I want to just say, if those who've joined us online... We want to remind you, you know, that Jesus is not just a man, but he's a king. He's a king, and he's calling you. And if you receive him today, and you put your trust in him with the intent to serve him in your youthfulness with courage, enthusiasm, and expectation, it says he will give you the riches and pleasures of his kingdom. Praise God. Just put your faith in Jesus today. He lived a perfect life on your behalf and he died for your sin and he rose again to make sure you could inherit eternal life. So you can come and join the family of Christ today. And you know what? Even if you don't have a church, we welcome you to come and grow together and serve God together. God has an awesome plan for us. We're so excited about that. And so at this point, can we have the children come up as they're coming, you know, if you haven't received Jesus, we, we just ask you to put your faith in him right now. You can call out to God and you can say, Father, forgive me where I've missed it. Forgive me for pursuing my own life. I hear your call and I choose to turn my back on the world and to turn toward you. And I want to come humbly and I want to serve you all the days of my life. Jesus, come and make your home in me. And fill me with your spirit. And teach me how to live for you. Thank you for hearing me and for answering. Amen. Praise God. So we're going to ask the children to come. And we're going to bless them. Amen. I know it's a bit of a different service, but this is good. We want to bless the children and we want to let them be used of God today to minister to us. Hallelujah. So if we could get maybe the parents... Now the children to come, put their hands on them, and we're going to stretch our hands. We're going to bless these precious children today. We're going to bless them. They're warriors. Come on, they're world changers. They're bringing transformation to our city and our world in Jesus' name. Can you guys still hear okay? Yep. We're good? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Any other parents here? Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Len, come. Pray over the children. Let's bless them. You can come too, Kim. I mean, you guys just speak a blessing over them. Thank you, Lord. What an opportunity. What a rich heritage in Christ Jesus. Father in heaven, 
we come before you. We thank you, Lord, for you have given each one of these children a blessing and a purpose. They are loved by you, and they are honored, and you want to see them grow in righteousness. Yes. Each one of them. So in the name of Jesus Christ, I bless each one. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, be blessed. In the name of Jesus, we speak all manner of spiritual gifts who rest upon this young girl. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, all manner of blessing and gifts, rich, that is trust will only be in, in you and nothing else. Thank you, Lord, that no deception will ever grip this young man. He will live in truth and righteousness all the days of his life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, for, Lord, for each one of these children. And that you are going to cause them to grow up in righteousness and as they grow and just as you Jesus did grew up in wisdom and stature in Christ Jesus so thank you Lord for each one of them, bless them help us to receive from them today in Jesus mighty name Amen Thank you guys so much Are you guys ready? Give the kids a big hand today, they've been preparing they're going to do some songs for us. So we thank God. Amen. And then after they do their songs, we're going to have one of the kids read a scripture. And uh, before we close, we'll have a worship song in closing. But uh, all right, we'll let the kids' worship team take it away. Can you hold this mic? It was a blast. It was fun having them out yesterday at our house to practice. Um, I don't know if they knew all the songs to begin with, but hopefully they'll know them now. <laughs> but these are familiar choruses. You guys have heard these when you were young, and they are songs of faith. They really are. I mean, the B-I-B-L-E, right? That's the book for me. Do we always feel that? Well, maybe not. Maybe we want to do our own thing, but hey. It's faith. We put our faith in the Word of God, right? There's lots of awesome courses here. So, we have actions to some of the courses as well. And so if you guys know the actions, hopefully you can join us with that. And really think of the words as we sing these songs. They are familiar songs, but think of the words. Hallelujah. So the B-I-B-L-E, we'll start with that one. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. today so maybe we can wave our hands like flags or something like that hallelujah love is a flag
can we go? And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. <laughs> Don't read your Bible, forget to pray. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Okay, read. Read your Bible. be a really confusing song to play and sing uh, because we're going to be leaving out words remember the good old song with Jesus in the boat yeah. pastor alluded to that one before all right so we have to know the actions right so Jesus we point out uh, point up so with Jesus in the boat we can smile at the storm we can make a little blow or we can and when we leave out the word storm we'll blow like there's a storm okay so we'll sing it all straight and then we'll start leaving out words can be confusing so winter and jamin i think are there to help with the actions hallelujah jesus we thank you god you're in our boat amen hallelujah with jesus in the boat we can smile at the storm smile at the storm smile at the storm with jesus in the boat we can smile at the storm Sailing home, sailing, sailing home, sailing, sailing home. With Jesus in the boat, we can smile at the storm as we go sailing home. Okay, with in the boat, we can smile at the storm, smile at the storm, smile at the storm. With in the boat, 
this song. I love this song. Okay, so it's a bit confusing with the last verse, but we'll get it. First verse is, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay, okay? So the kids are going to definitely shout out where, and you guys can all do that too. Second verse, I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart, okay? Third verse is a bit tongue twister-ish. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. We have to say that kind of fast. So it's like we're going to be going blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay. Hallelujah. I've got the joy. Who here has the joy this morning? Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for the joy. Joy of the Lord that fills us. Hallelujah. I've got the joy, joy. Can, you, can we just uh, stay up here just for a moment, just for a few minutes? I've got a young man here to read a scripture for me, one verse. Praise God. Awesome. I think we should give them one more hand, don't you? I think that was awesome, guys. So I have this one's verse right here. It's Psalm 103, verse 5. speaking to me on my heart that some of us you know we lose that fire when we're children we lose that fire and, and when God says you know he wants us to follow and serve him with all our heart soul mind and strength with that energy and enthusiasm of our, when we were young 
And God wants to restore that. And today, I don't know if like you've slipped away from that, but I know at times, I think I get lazy and fall from that level. And this morning, if you want some of these kids to pray for you, that God will renew your youth and that zeal and zest for him and that just that first love, why don't you come up and let the, or just step forward a bit and let the kids pray for you today. That would be awesome. Why don't we do that? And Merlin's going to help lead that. So Merlin. Yes. So if you want to just come up and um, what God wants us, he just wants us to come as children before him because he's our father and he loves us. And it does not matter where you're at in your life right now. The father wants us to come before him as children, open hearts. He loves us. And he will lead us and guide us in every area of our lives. So if you just want to come up and just let the children pray over you today. And just believe that the Holy Spirit works in anybody. He can use little human beings. There's no junior Holy Spirit. There's just one Holy Spirit. So you come forward and let the children pray over you. And believe that the Holy Spirit... The Holy Spirit is leading these little humans. They love Jesus and they know who he is. And they believe that he died for us. And the Lord wants us not to doubt him in any way. He wants us to come in full faith and trust in him in every situation of our lives. So just come on forward and um, we'll have the children. We'll go around and we'll have the children just cover you guys in prayer. Baby, I'm not 
Mira, me 